is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you the video that I've been saying I'm going to be bringing you for a long time. Ladies and gents, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make custom WWE nameplates for your replica championships. Obviously you can buy real nameplates for them, but they're quite a bit of money. And uh, this method is nice and simple, it looks the part. Um, it literally looks like I've just sharpied on the name, uh, but that's not what I've done. I've actually done it so it's removable. Obviously, this is the JTW Heavyweight Championship. I shouldn't really be holding it because I don't, I'm not the current champion. Um, JD Bailey is, as you can see by the nameplate. But the all of the but all of the roster members in JTW, whether they've been a champion or not, I've done a nameplate for, which I'll show you in a minute. I've also done nameplates for my ECW championship, which you saw in my review that just said Joe Anthony on it. Now, what this method is, guys, is you are going to need some A4 gold, and if you're going to do like the big gold or like you know the United States or any of the gold championships with nameplates, or silver if you've got like an ECW, whatever colour the nameplate is on the actual belt, you need the colour card for. Now this is relatively easy to come by at your local hobby store, um, so Hobby Craft in the UK, Hobby Lobby uh, in the US, you should be able to find it for relatively cheap. Over here in the UK it's about £2 per pack, so that's probably around $4 maybe. Um, but yeah, you need some of that, and you need a black sharpie and some scissors, as well as a flathead screwdriver. Because um, what you need the screwdriver for is to get the right proportions for the nameplate, you're going to need to unscrew the nameplates. So, I'm going to demonstrate now on both my Big Gold and my ECW Championship. Let's go. Okay guys, so right here you see on the table I've got my ECW 2008 Championship and my WWE Big Gold World Heavyweight, as well as all the other things I just stated. We got the A4 Gold and A4 Silver card, a flathead screwdriver, a black Sharpie, and some nameplates that I've already done. I haven't cut some of them out, I've only cut out the ones that have already been champion. Once again, if you guys are a fan of the Anthony's Open Challenge, this isn't, like, none of this says that they're gonna be champion. Um, I've just done this, like, there's no spoilers or anything. I've just done a nameplate for everyone, just in case. Um, it's just something cool to have, I guess. Uh, but yeah, once again, obviously the JD Bailey nameplate is on the current JTW Championship, and the Joe Anthony nameplate is on my ECW. So what we're gonna do now, ladies and gents, is we're gonna flip over the championships, both of them. Both of these are commemorative titles. This will work on replicas as well. And as you can see, there's two screws on each belt. These screws are for the main nameplate, so what you're going to want to do is unscrew these and then put them down on the bit of paper, on the card, and trace around them. I will show you what to do. Okay guys, so I'm right here and I'm unscrewing the screws on both the ECW and the Big Gold. Now what this will enable to happen is after you do this, the nameplate on the front will literally just fall off. Um, obviously on replica championships, unlike the real belts, the screws are on the back, not on the front. I believe the only replica title that screws on at the front is the spinner belt. Um, but yeah, this oh, this ECW championship, this strap is, because it's such thick plastic, these screws are a nightmare to get out. But there is one out. But there's the first screw. The little, they're literally just tiny little screws that look like this. Um, that's the first one. Moving on to the second one. And there it is. So that's the ECW Championship. And now all literally what you want to do is just push it from the back and just like maneuver it around. See if you can get your finger under the actual nameplate like so. And it literally just comes off like this. There it is. There's the actual nameplate. And then on the belt you're just left with a little blank space. So that's the ECW Championship done and out of the way. Okay, so now both nameplates are off of the championships and I'm going to start with the ECW title. Now what you're going to want to do is because this one's an odd shape is you might be able to get it exact but if you're doing something like I've done I've just cut the edges off um, because it has these little circular bits which are like 3D and like a risen so you can't really blue tack it on perfectly flat how you would want it. So the best bet to do is to just cut it on the inside so it's got a line. See where the cut is, them lines, yep. So you just do that and 
that's probably your best bet for the ECW. The big gold one, however, doesn't have that, so you can just get the whole shape. What you're going to want to do is you get the nameplate, you put it down on your bit of paper holding it down, you get your pencil, and you literally just trace around as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfectly exact as long as you get the rough outline of it so you can cut it like to the best of your ability. So this one is going a bit off because I've already got, I've still got a nameplate on it. So the pencil doesn't show up too much, which is what you want. And that's what mine looks like. I don't even know if you can see it. You can't really, but there you go. See how it looks all like rough? Uh, when you're going around it with the scissors, that's what you can fix. All this is, is just a guideline for where you're going to write the name. So, then what you're going to want to do is get your Sharpie. Now, this black Sharpie's running out, so I'm not going to have much to do on it. But say, for example, I'm going to do a Christian nameplate. So, I will literally just write Christian like this. My handwriting's terrible, so it's not really too centre, but it's there. And just wave it around, let the Sharpie dry. And then you get your scissors, which are right here, and you literally just use the line that you drew as a rough guideline to just cut out the nameplate. Remember, where you're tracing it, and it's 3D, your tracing is going to be slightly bigger than the actual nameplate because you've gone around the outside of it. So don't worry too much about that. It's going to be bigger nonetheless. So just try and get it as best as you can. I'm probably going to throw this nameplate away afterwards, so I'm being like rushing with it so I can get this as quick as possible. Here we go. There's the Christian nameplate that you can see. Then all you're going to want to do is literally out to demonstrate on this ECW. If you see, I can put it on the ECW nameplate like that and it looks fine it's just a slightly bit bigger but the little bump things here are annoying so what I would do is just straight up cut the edges off like so so this nameplate now fits smack bang in the middle of both of them like that then you would blue tack this nameplate on so we're just going to blue tack it over the Joe Anthony one. You don't need a lot, just literally a tiny little ball of blue tack going right on the end, but you don't want it to be showing off the side of the edge, if you know what I mean. So you wouldn't want to, you want to blue tack it on like this. You don't want to blue tack it on like this, because then it's showing off the edge and it will show up on the actual plate. So you don't want to do that. Just blue tack it, then put it onto your nameplate, like so. And there you have it, ECW Christian nameplate. Let me grab my ECW championship right here. And then you literally plop it back in. It's got the little holes on the pegs for you to do so. And then I won't screw. And here it is, Christian nameplate. Obviously, once again, I'm rushing this, so it is got really jagged edges and the Christian writing isn't straight and you know all of that. It's not neat how I would normally do it. But that's an ECW nameplate right there. Nice and simple. Save yourself a lot of money from buying a real one if you just literally want to just do this. It also saves you from ruining your belt because you don't need to sharpie on the actual nameplate. You can just get the card and blue tack it on so you can have interchangeable nameplates, which is what everyone wants. Anyways, now I'm going to show you how to do it on the big go. I'm just going to use a nameplate that I've already got. In this case, a Zach Rowe nameplate. And it's what it's good at as is you don't always need to use the main nameplate. So once you've done one and it comes out okay, you can then use that as a template for the rest of them. And obviously a 2D bit of paper is a lot easier to trace than a 3D curved nameplate. So we're just going to trace around this Zach Rowe nameplate the best we can. And whose name should I put on this? Who doesn't have a nameplate in JTW yet? Just trace it like so. Lovely. All the way around until you're satisfied with it. There's my line you can see right there. And let's write out a nameplate for 
Let's do it for a new rival of mine, the panda. So we're literally just going to write out P A N. You know how to spell panda, I don't need to say it out loud. Panda. Like so. Obviously, once again, this is really scruffy. And Panda is, as far as right now, never going to be JTW champion. So, you know, it's one of them things that you don't have to worry about. Then just like the ECW, you literally just cut it out again. Nicely. Try and get it to look good. I curve the edges on these, um, like on the inside. So the nameplate sits a bit smaller than the actual one which makes it better because nothing's overlapping off the sides of the plate and um, you won't rip the actual card when um, using the championship because nothing's showing up, like hanging off the side for you to actually knock off. So that's the probably the best thing to recommend. Curve the edges and make it a tad smaller. Just going over once more. And here is your Panda nameplate. Now let's grab the big gold and put it on. So we've got the big gold world heavyweight championship right here. We're literally gonna put the blue tack on. I'm not gonna take off the JD Bailey nameplate, but I am just gonna put this one over it. So here it is, Panda, and you literally just line it up nicely and blue tack it on, try and get it flat. And there we go. Let's have a look at this one then. Take a good look, ladies and gents, because this nameplate will never be on this title again. Panda nameplate on the big gold JTW Championship. And that's how you make a custom nameplate. Realistically, it's a nice, easy little job to do. It's just a good like pastime. If you've got a replica in your board, um, just try not to do a me and get Sharpie on your hands. But yeah, it's just one of them things that it, you save a lot of money. They look good, especially if you've got really neat handwriting, unlike me, and you can make it look good. Um, a lot of people's handwriting makes it look like it's actually printed, but I'm yet to find a way of whether I can print one of these, like put this card through the printer, it is too thick uh, to print on, but if you can, that would be awesome, but there's so many ways, obviously I've given you guys this idea, you can develop it in your own ways and let me know, but yeah, I just thought I'd want to share this with you guys because it's something really cool, especially you kids out there that have got replica belts. Uh, instead of bugging your parents to actually buy you a nameplate, you can actually just make one yourself and then you and your friends can have all different nameplates on your championships. It's just a great thing to do. You can have your name on it, you can have a wrestler's name on it, e.g. Christian. Do what you want with it. It's a great little thing to do, but yeah, let's switch back to the front camera for the outro. So I do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been wanting to do this video for ages. I just haven't found time. I find it like one of them things that's really cool to do. It's such a simple thing. It takes like five minutes to make a single nameplate. You can make as many as you want, and it's just one of them things that, if it turns out looking good, it looks really good. Like if you look at it from here, and I hold this up, but this just looks like an actual nameplate. It doesn't look like card at all. And uh, even Aaron Blaze, when we were having a rivalry, said that I sharpied on my name onto my belt so it's permanently on there. Even he didn't realize that it was a an extra nameplate. So once again, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Goodbye.